Well, out of all those thousands of books, we managed to find the journal that that was in. And we got it very quickly, too. Yes. But why, uh, for a job like that, do you have to use your computer to talk to another computer? Why not have all the information in a box like that? If you take a book like this, this has approximately 400 words on a page. Right. And so, uh, if you look at the, the screen of this television on that, that's, you'd need three screens like this f to be the same as one page. So that's quite small. The 32,000 characters in here is about 12 pages in this book. So when you start talking about books, that 32,000 seems relatively small. And that's obviously why you have to extend your storage capacity by using tapes or floppy disks, that kind of, that kind of system. Okay. Yes, the, the tape or the, this small floppy, that would handle about, at its maximum packing, its maximum that it could store, would handle about a whole volume, uh, the characters in a whole volume. And this is about twice the diameter? About, yes, it's about double the amount of characters. That would hold about 1.2 million characters as a maximum. Right. And for really big storage jobs, I suppose you need those... Uh, really big hard disk memory banks, is that right? Well, this one isn't one of the biggest. It's a, it's a sort of medium-sized machine. And this disk will hold about 80 of those novels, or the and characters out of it. It's not just one disk, is it? There are several. Now, there are five disks here, and the heads go in between to read the data, which is stored magnetically on those disks. And we can load it on the machine. Right, so go like this, bang, bang. Oh, and there's the magnetic surface. In, in fact, it looks like magnetic tape sort of laid out in the form of a flat gramophone record. Well, it? well, it's exactly the same principle, of course, um, but it's obviously much faster to access it, just like a gramophone record. You can pick an individual item of data out on it. Right. Mind your thumb. <laughs> and again, the bigger the machine, the bigger the storage capacity. Yes, this particular machine, although not a very big mainframe machine, it has in fact got a million bytes of storage as opposed to the 32,000 that this little micro has. But the breakthrough is going to come with, I think, uh, this, which is the uh, video disc. And this will store the characters on this one disc that you'd need 3,000 books to store. And another way of putting it, for example, with cassette tape, it would require enough cassette tape to stretch from London to Chicago, and it would take four years to read that cassette tape. The capacity to store the equivalent of 3,000 books is um, like the size of an encyclopedia. We well, eventually get the whole of the Encyclopedia Britannica on this disc. Well, let's just peep into the future for a moment, and uh, we've got a little program lined up here, which could be the encyclopedia of the future if I type in space shuttle. And that's your page of information. The book is open for you, and to make the page move so you can carry on reading it, all you have to do is press the space bar. What's more, this is something a video disc could do in the future. Not only do you have pages of written information, but if you typed in the word picture, and this is what you get. And make it move by doing that. We have ignition. We have ignition of the solid rocket.